Childbirth scares the shit out of me. Now I'm not a woman, but just the thought of that happening to a woman makes me cringe. I mean come on, you're essentially squeezing something the size of a grapefruit through your vagina. Plus there's a good chance that you'll piss and shit yourself and your vagina will tear in half. At least this is what I've learned from watching Scrubs. But hey, it's worth it isn't it? I mean you're left with this beautiful little thing that will cost you thousands of dollars over the rest of your long life. Hey, how'd you get a baby into a bowl? Blender. How'd you get it out of the bowl? Doritos. I'm so glad I'm a man. I mean I can't imagine that there's an equal pain for men as childbirth for women. And I hear you men saying, uh, oh, but those women, they don't know what it's like to be kicked in the balls. I mean, come on guys. Being kicked in the nads does hurt. It truly is excruciating. In fact, seeing it happen to another guy makes us wince and our balls shrivel. But how long does that pain last? A few minutes? An hour maybe? Labour can go on for 16 hours or more. Quite frankly, no man should complain unless they're willing to jam an orange up their cock. While on the subject of babies, I'd just like to say happy birthday to my little niece Riley, who turns one this week. I hope to God she never sees this video. So I've got to go to her birthday party on Saturday, and to be honest, the whole thing really just confuses me. I mean, a party for a one-year-old? Let's face it, she's not going to remember a fucking thing. Oh, but she'll have fun. I mean, come on, she's a baby. She'd be entertained by a couple of keys on a fucking string. These type of things are clearly for the gratification of the parents. Or maybe not. Maybe I've got it all backwards. What if, in fact, it is an ingenious scheme for the parents to get all the shit they need for their baby for free? It makes perfect sense. I mean, people go nuts for babies and spend all kinds of money on them. You could get all your toys and clothes for the next year and all you have to do is give these people some cake and ice cream and let them coo at your baby. It's brilliant. Grandparents spoil their grandkids rotten, especially if it's their first. But I suppose it won't be all bad. I mean, there's going to be a bouncy castle. They said I can't have a go, but I'll have a shot on it. By the hammer of Thor, I swear I will. So thanks for watching guys. A shout out to Ben and Jesse, Riley's mum and dad, for giving me the idea for this video. And remember to click the old like button and the doodly doo and share it with your friends and add it to your favourites and watch it a hundred times. So this has been my cynical view on childbirth and my niece's first birthday. If you want to hear my cynical view on any other topics, just write them in the old comments. Suggest anything at all, anything at all, I'll pick the best one and I'll give you my cynical view on that. Just anything, any topic that comes to your mind, anything, anything at all. How many times am I going to see anything before I end this video? Ah.